you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. One of my cats almost got out again. Don't worry. I made sure she was all right. Next to taking care of her and my students, I guess you can say I'm always looking out, I suppose. But what about you? I know you said you had been working on a few things. I... I really respect that. I'm sure with your quirk, you can make a lot of that possible. If I'm being honest, I don't really think too much about stuff like what you told me. But the way you speak about it tells me it's special. I think it's important we all find something like that. I always tell my students the same thing. Everyone has the potential to do something great with their lives. I guess it helps having others there to help you realize that. You know, I actually got my hero name from a childhood friend. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but people have a funny way of growing on each other. Did you always want to be a pro hero? I know there's a lot of responsibility there. Not to mention how it can really take over your life. But never for a second did I doubt whether it was worth it or not. I mean, sure, it wasn't always the easiest path. But I think all of us have a certain feeling for these things. As if we know what we're meant for, or what we should do. I'm not trying to sound too philosophical. It just becomes a habit in this line of work. But enough about that. I want to know more about you. You seem like someone that is very agreeable. While I can't always relate to it, I can respect that. Sometimes it can take a lot to interact with other people. Especially if I'm not exactly fond of them. What's something that makes you tick. It can be a pet peeve or the opposite. Anything that you're really into. What are you thinking? I can't say I disagree. Personally, I think one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone ruins my sleep schedule or when one of my cats leaves me a little surprise in my sleeping bag. 
It's all a part of life, though, right? I think, even though it doesn't seem like it, sometimes we may come to miss little things like that after they're gone. Would you say you're sentimental? Do you get attached to things or people quickly? I would say I'm pretty solid when it comes to emotional constitution, but I've always had a thing for memories, moments in life that can stay with you forever. I guess the reason is it's because there's a lot to every single memory. Anything can take you back. Whether it's a song, or a smell, or taste of something, being reminded of how far we've come, even if just for a second, can be a blessing in everyday life. Do you have a set schedule with what you do? Or do you prefer to take things slow and at your own pace? I'd say I'm a mix of both, I guess. While, yes, I do love my sleep when I can get it. I do have a teaching schedule to follow. However, it's not as intense as you might think. That is, when I'm not protecting my kids from anything. On the off chance that happens, I do what I have to. They're a priority for me. I'm just happy it's not exactly a common occurrence. Not with all for one locked up. How anyone could be so malevolent is beyond me. To want power is one thing, but it's your reasons for it that say a lot about you. If it's one thing I try and teach, it's that we always have a choice in life. At this point in their lives, the kids have to decide what kind of heroes they want to be. I usually don't think about the pressure too much, but I guess it's there in its own way. It's like when you feel responsible for how someone turns out, then it's either a blessing or a curse if you make it. Do you think you'd be okay with that? I mean, handling another life, whether it's taking care of your family, friends, or pets, even. Some people prefer having no cares at all, which I understand, but isn't something I relate to. I guess some people need to have that. Something that keeps them busy. 
something they can truly care for and know that they're making the world a better place however they can. Seeing them grow and live up to their fullest potential, that's the end game for me. I'm sure you've heard how tough I can be. While that is a very real part of my personality, as much as I try to keep myself from admitting it, I really do love each and every one of them. Being able to be there for a future generation, the impact that has didn't hit me until quite recently. And because of everything that's been going on, I'm afraid I've put things like relationships and personal matters in the back of my mind. But I think now would be a good time as any. Oh, and don't worry about the check. Let me handle it, all right? I had a good time with you, which is more than what I usually admit when it comes to stuff like this. If you don't mind, would you want to do this again sometime? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to wake up early tomorrow. One of my students is coming in for a makeup test. Let's just say he's quite explosive when it comes to these things. He'll need me there. But until then, I'll keep you updated. Oh, and call me when you get home so I know you're safe, okay? <laughs>